What's up, JB Navy? It's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is how stripping changed my life in good and bad ways. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start with the good first, because I'm always ratting and raving about the strip club. So let's start with the good reasons first. Good reasons were the freedom. I think that's one of my number one reasons right there. The freedom to go wherever I want to go, the freedom to move wherever I want to move, the freedom to make my own schedule, the freedom to stand up, dance, sit down, do kind of really whatever I wanted to do. Um, the freedom of the strip club has allowed me to explore life. It has ex allowed me to get off in different business ventures, go out of town whenever I want to. Um, I don't know. The freedom of dancing has definitely been a spoiler for me. Like I've been very spoiled by that. Um, and I think I said this before in another video, it's really not about the money for me no more. Like the money is cool too, but the freedom, I think I'll be more so scared to let go of that than anything. Like if I wasn't making no money as a dancer, I probably would be like, oh my God, I got to go back to work. I got to go find a job. No, I probably would be like that because I really enjoy the freedom of dancing. So that's one of my number one reasons. Number two, the way strip club have changed my life in a good way. I've met some bomb people, like bomb, like from celebrities to regular people to all types of stuff, girls or whatever. Um, I've made some friendships. I'm not going to say a lot of my friendships from the strip club last, but hey, they were lessons learned. I met some great people. I've met some dope people. I got to be around people that people probably would never be around in their lifetime. Um, I've seen a lot of things. I've been invited to a lot of parties. I've been, I've had a lot of great experiences through dancing. So that would be my number two reason, like the great experiences and meeting the great people that I've met. My number three good thing would be the upgrade of myself is major key because in one of my videos, I said, I think it's my first video, how I became a stripper. And I had got some like backlash about what I said. I said that dancing had like taught me how to be a woman. I think I said something like that. And what I was meaning was my mom isn't, my mom is girly girly, but my mom worked a lot. So my mom is kind of like chill. But when she get like go out, she get dressed up and stuff. Um, my mom always kept her hair cut. So you know, she didn't really get into weaves and things like that. So growing up, I kind of had to fend for myself when it came to my hair and my style and things like that because my mom worked so much and everything. So when I entered the dance world, I was around things that I wasn't, I was around the things that I did not get growing up, like the glamour, how to do makeup, how to do my hair. Um, even down to fashion, like these girls was coming in talking about all the stuff they bought, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, it did kind of help me. It did kind of help me upgrade myself. That's what I was meaning by what I said in my first video. Um, I learned how to do my makeup through the strip club. I learned all the trends through the strip club. Like, I mean, I, I stayed up to date with things because of the strip club. So, yeah, um, that's one of the things that. Um, changed my life about the strip club. It helped me really pull the true beauty out of myself because like think about it We are in a competition every night to you know work. We're comp competing with girls all night So of course it just it just makes you be better So that's what happened and I took a lot of things from dancing like how to do my makeup How to dress all types of stuff. So yeah, it definitely was an experience and I learned a lot I learned a lot through dancing. I definitely did um, another good thing from dancing, of course, is the money. I've done a lot of things with my money. Um, I've been able to buy a lot of things with my money and I've been able to afford a lot of things with the money. So those are the good ways that dancing had changed my life. The bad ways that dancing have changed my life. Huh? Okay. Mm, it's going to get a little personal. Um, I'm not very sexually active. If you know what I mean. And I don't take flirtation well. I don't take guys saying sexual gestures to me well. I actually just had to kind of like snap on a male friend because he had made a comment like, yeah, let me rub your booty or something. I was like, don't you? I was like, don't you know I hear this stuff at work all the time? I don't want to hear that shit coming from you. Like, I was so irritated. Like, because like, it's like 
once you're a dancer, there's no such thing as male friends no more. Like, it's been the hardest thing trying to keep a male friend. It's like they're going to cross that line eventually. And it's annoying. It's annoying that you get close to people and then they can't never see past your job or never see past looking at you at, in a sexual manner. Now, don't get me wrong. They might not be looking at me in a sexual manner because I'm a dancer. They might just be doing it just because they're attracted to me. But it just doesn't help that I'm a dancer, too, and I have to hear this all the time at work, and then I got to come hear it from you. Um, so, yeah, it makes my male friendships kind of awkward. I'm not very sexually active because I'm always in a sexually, uh, like, I'm always in a sexual environment. Like, everybody's just hot and ready. <laughs> everybody's just so hot and ready. And um, so when I come home, I just don't want to kind of like be attacked with that, if y'all know what I mean. Like in my relationship with my son's dad, that was a big issue for us because like he was so attracted to me. And I was just kind of like, dang, like, can we just relax? Do we have to like, why can't a guy just kiss you on the forehead and walk away? Why does it like got to go further than that? Like, how come I just can't have a hug or a kiss and just walk away? Why do you have to, like, I don't know. I don't know. It just made me very weird because of just being in that environment. It, it's, I don't know. So, I do not like sex as much as, like, I guess I'm supposed to. I don't know. Um, I guess I just want to finally see somebody kind of, like, just enjoy me and not really think about that. So, yeah. Yeah. That's some of the ways that uh, the club has affected me in a bad way. Another way the club has affected me in a bad way is made me defensive because everybody's so shady in the strip world that I don't know. I'm so defensive now. Like I'm so got my guard up because I've seen so much and been through so much in the strip club. It makes me kind of like irritated. Like, I don't know. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to balance out my attitude but, um, I don't know. I kind of start to feel like it's my time to go because I think I've reached my point. I think I've reached my, uh, boiling point with the strip club. But yeah, it has, um, definitely changed my attitude. My attitude, I'm a little bit more defensive. I'm a little bit more aggressive. And, uh, yeah. Them are some of the negative ways the club has affected me. Um, what else? Let's see. Is it another negative way it has affected me? I guess it has affected me also with dating. Like, I don't take people serious. Like, I just be like, oh, you just want to fuck. That's it. You just want to fuck. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm pretty. Mm-hmm. You want to go on a date? Oh, you want to treat me like this? Yeah. You just want to fuck. Like, so that's like <laughs> the way my mind works now when guys are talking to me. Mm-hmm. You want to fuck. So, yeah, it has affected me. It's going to affect you. It's something that you can't control. It's something that you're going to have to, hmm, it's like, it's a problem that's going to happen, but you have to resolve it. Put it like that. Like, you're going to have to control it. Like, you're not going to be able to control that it's going to happen, but you're going to have to be able to control when it happens. So, basically, how I'm controlling it is, I am aware of. And once you are aware of things, you can begin to start to control it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that's what's going on with me with that. So I am aware of the ways the club has affected me. So when I see myself kind of acting in a way or feeling in a way, I know how to go about it. Put it like that. So, yeah, you guys, these are the ways the strip club has affected my life, good and bad. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, JB Navy gang, I see y'all. I'm out.